Hey guys, welcome to my channel and honeygirlsworld.com. My name is Honey. If you are new here, welcome and thank you for clicking on this video. If you've been hanging out with me for a while, then welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a case on a little guy by the name of Benjamin Raposa. Um, I wanted to discuss and share this case with all of you guys because I feel that there really needs to be some form of awareness and more attention really needs to be brought to this case and to this little person. Um, I've been doing some research on it and while it's been just over a year since he had gone missing, there haven't there hasn't been a lot of updates and um, the case is still unresolved. So I definitely wanted to talk story about that today and share that with all of you. You know, as a mother, um, cases like this really pull on my heartstrings. And when I heard about this case, like I said, it happened just over a year ago or a um, little over a year ago. I my heart just absolutely broke and I, you know, been doing my research and trying to see whether or not there have been any updates with regards to little Benny and I haven't had any. So with all the digging and the research that I've been doing, there's not a lot of information out there and I figured this would be a great opportunity for me to share this with you you know, put the awareness out there and maybe, you know, there'll be something that will come from this. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers, my followers, those of you that watch any of my videos, but especially my true crime videos where you comment um, and you share the videos as well. I know that it's a subject that oftentimes people are, you know, super duper passionate about because they are fans of true crime. Um, it's kind of like an addiction, but there are also people out there that watch these types of videos because they want to be able to make a difference. And I just want to send a shout out to all of you guys and tell you thank you so much for watching, for allowing me to share parts of me and things that, um, you know, I'm passionate about with all of you. Over the course of the last several months since I've been doing my true crime videos, you know, I've been approached on the street here locally by people who have told me, thank you so much for covering this case. That's my family member. Um, or just asking me to cover certain cases that they may have seen. And that is my ultimate goal with regards to things like this. I know my channel is very lifestyle oriented, but, you know, for me, I want to share a bit of my world, a bit of Honey Girl's world with all of you and the things that really just get me, <laughs> you know, whether it's true crime missing persons unsolved. I've been a long time unsolved mysteries fan, as I stated in other videos. Um, I follow a lot of true crime YouTubers and have for years now. And I want to be able to share that, but I also want to be able to build not just a relationship, but a kind of communication with people. So if you have ideas or thoughts or anything like that, send me an email, comment down below, let me know. And together, maybe we can, you know, work through some of the things that is going on right now. Let me just make sure I'm in focus. So, you know, I, my thought process and my goal is to do a lot of Hawaii true crime, unsolved, missing persons and things like that. Um, but I do follow a lot of cases in the U.S. and all over the world. So I may be talking about those in future stories. I'm not too sure. Um, I try to, you know, write out what it is I'm going to talk about, but I do read through notes and so forth. So this is kind of just a chit chat talk story, kind of impromptu kind of thing that you guys will be seeing around here. And those of you that are 
along for the ride. I want to thank you. Thank you for subscribing, for sharing my videos, um, for commenting and all those good things. And I, I truly, truly appreciate it tremendously. Um, so with, with all of that said, you guys, let's go ahead and get into the case. So as I stated in the intro, today we're going to be talking about a little person by the name of Benjamin Raposa. Benjamin went missing from a residence that he was at on December 20th, 2019. He was just six years old. Um, Benjamin is nicked name, Nick, nicknamed Benny Boy or big boy, um, by family members. And he has a twin sister as well as an older sister. He may have other siblings that I don't know about, but so far from what I've gathered from different research, that's what he has. Um, Benny is just the sweetest little boy, you guys. Um, he does have nonverbal autism, which, um, makes it, a bit of a challenge when you're trying to locate someone or you know you're not too sure what happened in the circumstance um, because he can't he can't communicate at the time of Benny's disappearance he was last seen at a house located um, right on the ocean in Hilo in on the island of Hawaii or Big Island as we refer to it here in the Kealakaha area. Um, from December through February, Hawaii always experiences really high surf during that time. That's our winter here. Here in Hawaii, our winter is high surf, rains, flooding, things like that. And at the house where he was located at, or I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. The house where he was at when he went missing, um, had they were having high surf already, starting to build up. The weather was starting to get pretty bad. Um, so it was experiencing some, some rough ocean conditions, and that house was right there on the ocean. Howard, since Friday, there have been more than 150 volunteers searching. They've been given a description of the exact diaper he was last seen wearing and what his favorite song is that could help him out of hiding. Many have been tirelessly searching for six-year-old Benny Raposa. The Hawaii Police Department has provided us with this update. I believe the, the dive has concluded and the helicopter search has concluded. So um, I believe this is the, the last day that um, FIRE will be doing the um, air and sea. Um, we will continue um, through tomorrow with detectives, continuing on checks. But volunteers say they won't stop. And reinforcements from other islands are coming in as well. Being available is just so pure and so genuine, right? And I gotta think, like, this could be my son, you know, or this could be my daughter, or this can be a member of my family, And but this is somebody's son. These photos were taken the day he went missing. Well, his mom's nickname for him is Big Boy. He is a twin, that's why. So he was born bigger than his uh, sister. The twins just celebrated their birthday the day he went missing. They were not at a party. They were just here. But it, it, it was their birthday. He did not see from the back of the house. He was last seen at a home on Kalaniana Ole Avenue, the same home that has now become a hub for volunteers. Benny had no shoes or clothes on, just this diaper with spaceships on it. Our on-foot volunteers, um, like on the roads, they're just going around playing his Spongebob song, playing music. Hopefully he's, he can come out because we got to remember, yeah, he's six years old and he's autistic. So um, either he could be afraid and hiding or, um, or anything. He is uh, attracted to the water due to his autism. And um, he has gone uh, near the water before. And um, we're hoping that that's not the case, that uh, he's just lost and um, we'll find him. So I've been doing some research and so forth with regards to what had kind of happened that day. And there are a few news outlets that's been covering the case. But um, again, Benny went missing December 20th, 2019. So it's been over a year since he's gone missing. Um, different research and, and news outlets state that on the day of Benny Boy's disappearance, Benny's older sister Tabitha took the kids swimming that day. Now, I'm not too sure if they took the kids swimming 
in that area right outside the house or if it was somewhere else um i do know that that was not benny's house where he had gone missing it was actually his mother's boyfriend's house and you know it's not some place that they they go very often but they figured you know what it would it was his him and his twin sister's birthday so they figured that they would do something along those lines um kind of hang out there you know it's right on the ocean and so forth but um again benny's older sister tabitha had taken the kids swimming that day as i stated earlier i don't know if it was there at that ocean um but benny got in the water briefly and then he wanted to get out uh, and let's see here later that afternoon while Tabitha was laying down with her newborn baby she was called out by a family member called out of the house because that's when she was alerted that Benny had disappeared um different news outlets had done interviews and so forth with Benny's sister as well as um other people but you know, there wasn't a lot of information that was out there. So I'm kind of giving you what I was able to read about. Uh, Tabitha explained that he's hidden from them before for almost five hours at one time. Uh, so, you know, immediately family members were concerned that he may have gone into the water. Again, the house was located right in the water. Um, reports say that the surf conditions or the water conditions were, were quite rough already by that time. But Tabitha also stated that she didn't believe that that was the case. She thinks that there was a possibility that he may have been taken. Benny's mom, who is Deborah Decker, um, she learned about her son missing when she received an emergency call at work at about 6 p.m. Now, it was stated that Benny was last seen at 3 p.m. at this residence. So I guess they were looking for him in that time frame before they actually called the mom. Um, Deborah was called by her boyfriend stating that Denny, um, I'm sorry, stated, stating that Benny was missing. By the time she got to the house or the residence where Benny had gone missing, there was there was already police officers and everything over there. So they were going ahead and doing a search and looking for him. The mother of a six-year-old boy who vanished from a home near Hilo is hoping a new reward will lead to her son's whereabouts. She's also talking about what happened before he went missing. I try not to let the kids see me cry. <laughs> Deborah Garcia says she's trying not to let her other children see her cry. On December 20th, her six-year-old son, Benjamin Raposa, nicknamed Big Boy, went missing from her boyfriend's Keokaha home just steps from the ocean. Last seen wearing only a diaper, the boy has autism and cannot speak. Garcia hopes a new $5,000 reward will help lead to his whereabouts. It just means everything to me that we get him back. Just, oh my God. Garcia says she was at work when Big Boy went outside. My boyfriend got home from the grocery store that day and my older daughter and my younger daughter were watching him. And just in the confusion of him coming home and putting the groceries away, just he managed to slip out the door. Police say the case is classified as a missing persons case, but Garcia believes anything could have happened. I, honestly, I have no idea, but there's always the possibility that he has been taken. Even though police and fire suspended their ground and air search days ago, volunteers have still been looking, and Garcia is pleading for help. I've been getting in the bushes every day, just looking for him, searching the coastline, you know, just doing everything I possibly can, but... I, I'm just one person. She says her son loves SpongeBob SquarePants, gummy bears, and fruit. If you're out there, Benny boy, I love you. Mom loves you. Now, the family has set up a Bank of Hawaii account under Benjamin Raposa and a GoFundMe account to help raise money to help find the child. Now, the boy has a whale-shaped birthmark on the back of his head. If you have any information, call Hawaii County Police. Um, you know... Deborah had stated in, in a few news articles that it started raining that night. Um, again, it is our winter season is rain, flooding. Sometimes we have heavy, heavy rains. Um, but the surf is always, always affected. And the fact that this house is right on the ocean would be a lot of cause for concern. 
Um, let's see here. So, you know, it made the situation much more difficult. And of course, the sun's going down and things were just a really big challenge. So Benny went missing from the 2100 block area on Kalani Anaole Avenue in the Kaha area at approximately 3 p.m. Um, I don't know specifically if that was the last time that he was seen um, or if that, again, is just an approximate time of when he went. He was last seen with just a diaper on. Um, the diaper had spaceships and rockets, and I'll try to input a picture in this video as well so that you can see. Now, obviously, it's been a year. He's not going to have the same diaper on, but I wanted to make sure to, you know, put that on unless he, you know, had come across an accident or something along those lines but I wanted to make sure in the case that anybody had seen him that they would recognize that on the second day of the search over 100 people volunteered to help find little Benny boy um, they searched the property the neighborhood you know there were volunteers as well as county police and fire departments they actively searched the surrounding areas as well as the shoreline on December 21st, they had divers and other units out looking, but due to the heavy conditions in the ocean and so forth, it made it, it made it a challenge. And so they, they had to stop a lot of the searches that they were doing because of how difficult it was with the ocean if it was raining that day and so forth. Um, people volunteered in the community and so forth, looked around. So community members, family members, and so forth had volunteered even Christmas Eve and Christmas Day to help locate Benny. They searched everywhere, but really couldn't find anything. Um, police and fire departments called off the searches on Christmas Eve, and volunteers continued their search efforts in the surrounding areas, as well as the nearby water. Um, Police and fire are no longer participating in the active searches, but detectives are still saying it's an ongoing investigation into his disappearance. There was no evidence found in the ocean or any bushes surrounding the nearby property. So because of that, you know, they've been gathering as much as possible. The volunteers, family members, and so forth have been gathering as much as they can for prayer vigil, um, and so forth, just trying to get flyers and all kinds of stuff going up and trying to get that going. I was watching a video, a live video by a lady that's been helping organize the search efforts. Um, I believe her name is Moana. And she actually stated in one of the live videos that she did on Facebook that people were actually removing the posters um, for Benny's disappearance, which really breaks my heart. It's like, guys, just leave it up. We're trying to find a little boy. Like, what are we doing? Um, that was very early on in his search. So within the first month of them trying to locate him. I haven't seen very many updates with regards to any of that. And Benny's page has not been updated in a year, just about. So, you know, it's it's very difficult to kind of judge what, or not necessarily judge, but obtain the information um, to kind of see what had happened. Did they completely call the search off? Um, did they find any additional evidence that shows otherwise that he did or didn't? get into the ocean none of that is available um i do want to state that there were no amber alerts or here in hawaii we call them the maile alert released on benny since there was no sign of abduction um you know benny's sister tabitha had stated that she thought that he could have gone missing because someone may have taken him but again there was no evidence to such even with an ongoing investigation, there was little to no available. You guys, when I say that news outlets, I mean, our local news put it on television and the Big Island News Now had covered it. A few local stations um, did cover it for a very short amount of time, but it's been over a year and I haven't seen 
very many updates to date. Um, in March 2020, so a few months after Benny had gone missing, his case was featured on the show In Pursuit with John Walsh on the Investigation Discovery Channel. I've been trying to locate that segment um, to see. I, I do watch in, in Pursuit from, from time to time, not as much as I would like because, you know, life gets us sometimes um and i have not seen it i've been trying to locate that segment if i find a link for it i will definitely put it in the description box but if i if my memory serves me correctly when they do something like that um john walsh tends to kind of just feature it for a few seconds stating that he's gone missing during this time and so forth so i'm thinking that that's what had happened um and you know, I don't know or I can't say for certain that anything had come from that particular segment as well. If there were any tips that came in that led to any more information and so forth. I'm like scrolling through my tablet. So if you guys see me looking, that's what I'm doing. I'm making sure that I got my dates right. Um, okay, so here's here's the kicker. July 2020, there were a bunch of individuals that took to social media indicating that a juvenile in an online video, which I will try to post the link down below. I'm thinking the video had gone viral. It was a 44 second video that captured a male juvenile or a young, young boy um, that had his left side of his face heavily painted from his forehead to his upper chest. And he was singing the song, Somebody I Used to Know. Now, there was a another male in there that seemed like he was like going in and out. I did see the video. Um, a lot of people were saying that that was Betty Boy. So the police did the investigation and everything like that. And there's a lot. I mean, if you do searches on Benny Raposa or Benjamin Raposa missing, um, they're pulling up a lot of different things on um, Wayfair. <laughs> like there's a lot of things that will, will come up because of this because they're saying that it involves somebody that has to do with Wayfair. I'm not going to get into any of that. Um, or something along those lines. But it turns out that that was not the boy. Um, and the guy that they said had to do with Wayfair was not the guy. Um, it, there's a lot. A lot to read up on. But police did rule out that that was not him. Um, that was not Benny Raposa in the video. It looks like him for sure. But um, I guess the video had been uploaded quite a few years back. And so that kid would be much older and therefore it rolled it you know police investigation or investigators rolled ruled it out that that was not benny so i'm going to <clears throat> kind of talk a little bit about benny himself what he looked like any type of features he has and so forth um, at the time of his disappearance benny was wearing a white diaper as i stated earlier decorated with small spaceships and rocket figures he has brown hair and brown eyes he's just a little tiny little guy um he was approximately three feet tall um and between 50 and 60 pounds just little tiny guy i I don't know how else to explain it. As a mom, every time I think about this story, my my heart just hurts. Uh, he goes by the nicknames Benny or Big Boy. And he has a small scar on the left side of his head and a brown mark on the right side of his head. As I stated earlier, Benny has nonverbal autism um, and he does wear diapers all the time. His mom described him at that time as a climber um, but she said he doesn't hide much which I wasn't sure if that was conflicting with what his sister had stated um, in reports was that he hid from them before so I'm not too sure the difference between the two um, he can't swim well and he loves fresh fruit Things like grapes and bananas. He likes Spongebob and he likes to sing Queen's Don't Stop Me Now with his mom. Now, when I read that, I assumed because he's nonverbal, um, 
what she meant by that was that he reacts, he dances, maybe he might even hum um, some along with his mommy while she's singing the song. And he also loves gummies, gummy bears or what have you. I don't know, just gummies in general. Um, as I stated before, Benny is a twin. He has a twin sister. And in fact, that's the reason why he has the nickname Big Boy. His mom gave him that nickname because he was the bigger of the babies um, with his his sister. So that's why she had given him that name. Um, and there is a GoFundMe link, which I will list and post down below. If I remember, I will put it here in this video. I have not clicked on the link yet to take a look and see if it was still active. I have been reading a lot of reports that state that there is a $5,000 reward that was given by a anonymous donor um, leading to Benny. So that's something you want to think about as well. Um, there is that reward out there. I haven't seen any updates to see if it was raised higher than that or if they have taken the reward off the table. Again, Benny's case remains unsolved. I have not been able to locate any more information than what I'm providing to you right now. Um, again, people assume that he may have gotten into the water and being a little you know three foot little guy in really rough water I know grown adults that can't handle heavy surf here in Hawaii when we're dealing with winter weather so there's always that possibility that he had walked into the water and the surf the water basically gobbled him up um I will say that different reports say that he had a fascination with water, although his sister had stated that when they went swimming that day, um, he stayed in for a very short time and then he wanted to get out. So, you know, a lot of things when when little people or adults or what have you have autism, there's certain triggers um, that make it very uncomfortable for them. So I don't know if, you know, he was fascinated with water to the point where he would go towards the ocean because a lot of people that I've worked with who have autism, um, ocean, heavy waves, things like that would make them back up and they wouldn't want to get near. They're not going to chance that in their mind. It's too much of a um, overload of the sensory. Um, so I'm not too sure if... You know, he was so fascinated in the water that he would have gone, but they have yet to find any evidence of anything. It's essentially like he just vanished. He disappeared. We can't find this little person. And you guys, my heart breaks. Um, last video I did on true crime was with regards to little baby Kitana Ankog. Um, it was part with my Maya Miliete. Um video and I I cut out a bunch of different scenes as I was talking about it but when it comes to kids it hits me on a personal level as it should anybody in general moms dads family members just in general most people when they watch a case when it has to do with kids they struggle and I like I said I kind of pulled back from this when I read about it, I was like oh they're gonna find this little person he's gonna show up but it's been over a year and there's no updates, there's no information, nothing. So I'm going to be listing the Find Benjamin Raposa Facebook page down below so you can check it out as well as the link to the GoFundMe if it is still active. Um, I also want to tell you that if you have any information with regards to Benny Raposa's disappearance, um, if you may have seen something on that day or just anything in general that you think might be worthy to discuss, definitely reach out to the Hawaii Island Police Department or the Big Island Police Department at 808-935-3311. Again, I'll be posting a link down below as well as any Crime Stoppers or anything of the sort. As I stated, there is a $5,000 reward leading to information or I'm sorry, $5,000 reward for information leading to Benny. But right now, 
You guys, there is nothing there. I have read articles after articles. Some news outlets will give you one tiny little paragraph with a few words and no information other than he was six years old. So I don't know if I stated this in the beginning of the video, but it was actually him and his twin sister's birthday that day. So December 20th, 2019, they were celebrating his sixth birthday. And, you know, there's not too much personal information other than that. I would have loved to have seen more than just pictures about this guy. I'm thankful that his mom kind of shared a little bit of personal info on him. Um, I read somewhere in another article that she actually... You know, when she, she hugged him goodbye before she went to work, she hugged him extra tight and, you know, she reminded him that she loved him. It, it breaks my heart. Um, I will say, well, I have no judgment, um, you know, my opinion is very different from everybody else's opinion. Watch your kids, you guys. Anything can happen. We are not in the day and age where our kids can be on the streets till the street lights come on. Um, I'm one of those kids. I grew up in the 80s. I was born in 1980. And, you know, you stay out. The street lights come on. You go home. You know, you knew that you had to be home in time for dinner. And even in my own community, and I live in a really nice area, um, you know, there's a number of different people around there. And the fact that Benny got autism, it makes it where we have to be much more vigilant on top of those kinds of things as well and always one step ahead of them and things happen people turn their head for a split second as a mom i get it i understand um you know we got to go bathroom we have to cook dinner we got to do things but i think that you know something along these lines it could have been prevented. That's just my opinion. Um, from everything that I read and video interviews that I seen, Benny's mom, Deborah, had actually stated that, you know, they were at her boyfriend's house when Benny went missing. He was at, at her boyfriend's house. And, um, you know, one person thought that this person was watching him. Another person thought that that person was watching him. So it was kind of a whole bunch of miscommunications and things get jumbled and lost and we get, you know, busy doing things. And, you know, there should be one designated person kind of keeping an eye on the kids. I mean, it seems unrealistic when you think about it. But truly, these kinds of things happen much more often than they don't. And because of that, I think it's really, really important that we as parents or family members who are helping to watch children be vigilant. Again, I'm not judging anybody and everybody has their own opinion. But, and that's mine. Um, as a mom, I know the struggles. I know how difficult it is. But we, I mean, whew. You know, sometimes we need mental breaks. Sometimes we need time to ourselves. Sometimes we are just super duper busy. But at the same time, we have to have to, we have to be our children's best and biggest advocate, right? And yeah, I know mom's got to go to work. Dad's got to go to work. People got to work. Not everybody has the luxury of staying home or spending 100% of time watching over their children. But at the same time, you know, we don't want issues like this to happen. So, you know, that is going to be the case for today. Originally, I was going to release this on a True Crime Tuesday day, but this is going to be released on a Thursday Thursday um, because it, it's been unsettling in my na'au and my insides and, you know, deep within who I am as a mom, I'm really struggling with this. And I could not ever imagine this happening to me or my children um, or my husband or anyone close to me. I would struggle and have a really hard time. So again, I bring up to you guys, um, 
Benny Raposa went missing from the Keokaha area at the 2100 block of Kalani on the Ole Avenue on the Big Island of Hawaii. Um, he was or is three, I say was because he could have grown. It's been a year. Um, three foot tall at the time of his disappearance, 50 to 60 pounds approximately, brown hair, brown eyes. Uh, when you look at him, he looks like your average little local boy that you see walking around here in Hawaii. Um, he has nonverbal autism and he was still currently wearing diapers at that time. So keep an eye on that. Should you see him, you have any information, again, all of the links, telephone numbers and everything will be placed in the description box down below. Let's try to get some information on this little guy. I, I haven't found much and I mean... It's still unsolved and he's still missing. He's still listed on the national database for missing and exploited kids. So, you know, let's let's do something, you guys. Let's find little Benny. <sighs> okay. I jumbled my words quite a bit in this video. I apologize. It's just, like I said, kid videos make it really, really hard for me to talk about. But it's important to get the word out. And as a mom, I consider it my job to make sure that we can push this out as much as possible. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave them in a comment section below. Otherwise, you can reach me on all my different social media outlets. My website or my email is also posted. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like true crime, if you like supporting those kinds of things. Don't forget to share this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Like subscribe and all that good things again if you have any cases that you'd like me to cover touch base on discuss or chit chat about leave that in the comments or send me an email i hope you guys are having a wonderful thirsty thursday thanks so much you guys for joining me today and i'll see you in my next one bye